wanted to tell you the top five ways that I went from noob to neighbor when I moved to Dripping Springs, Texas. When you're moving to a new town, it can seem daunting to try to build friendships, start new schools, start new businesses, and just in general, get connected with the local community. And that's what we had to do several years ago when we moved here from West Texas. I had three young boys who were all school age. We were starting new jobs. We were trying to learn everything there was about the community and it was pretty scary. I think I probably felt more nervous than my kids did about going to the new elementary. I didn't know if they were gonna make friends. I knew that the ratings were super high, but it still just felt overwhelming. So here's the first thing that I did. I posted and introduced our family on the local Facebook group, Dripping Springs Neighbors kind of rip the bandaid off and introduce our family to the whole community. And I told about ourselves, people just started commenting and introducing themselves and welcoming us to this amazing community. Now the Dripping Springs Neighbors Facebook group is a great place to learn about local happenings, to learn about whose dog is missing, whose horse is loose on Fitzhugh, whose kid is not driving well. But the community is such a great place to just have boots on the ground of what's happening, what's coming, what the local feelings are about different developments and different problems. And, and it's really cool to learn when people are in need, they'll post on there and so many amazing Texas people will offer to help. So step two after that post was I added every person that commented as a Facebook friend. And I started interacting with them and learning about their lives. And it was a great way just to start immersing myself in the local community. The third step was I reached out and I scheduled play dates and coffees with the people who commented. I actually made some really awesome connections and I asked them, who do you think I should meet up with? Who are some people that you think that our families would be a great fit to be friends with? It was such a fun way to speed up the process of embedding in the town. The fourth thing I did is when we moved here, I baked cookies or cakes and I took them to the neighbors and introduced ourselves. We did this within the first day or two that we were there so that it wouldn't be awkward when it had been a month and we hadn't even introduced ourselves. It's just a way to speed up the community and it felt kind of risky because you never know who your neighbor's going to be. The fifth thing you can do is join a church, a group, or volunteer somewhere. When we first moved here, we started checking out churches. I started volunteering at the local food pantry and then with a youth group. There's all kinds of networking groups. I even started a networking group and it was just so much fun. So those are the five ways that when we moved to Dripping Springs, we built community. So if you're thinking about moving to Dripping Springs, Texas, and you haven't been here before, or you feel new and you just need someone to talk to, feel free to reach out to me and I'm happy to share who I think you would be great friends with, different ways to connect in the community, and just overall welcome you into this incredible town. And in the comments below, I'm gonna link a blog post about ways to volunteer, ways to get connected and build your community when you move to Dripping Springs, Texas.